So today, vegetables are the hero of our dish. I'm going to make a grilled vegetable sandwich. So let's start first by adding some extra virgin olive oil. Some black pepper powder. I'm using a mix of dried herbs, but you can use some fresh herbs if you like or just oregano. Anything will work in this recipe. Next, I'm going to add some garlic powder. You know, it's really helpful if you keep garlic powder at home. It saves you the trouble of chopping up fresh garlic. But if you don't have garlic powder, just use finely minced garlic in this recipe. Just adds a lot of flavor. If you know me, you know that I will always add chili flakes. And just a little bit of lemon juice. And never without any salt. Just mix this together really well. Okay, all mixed together and yes, that is enough oil for all the vegetables, trust me. So now speaking of vegetables, let's add all our vegetables. Now you'll notice that these vegetables are cut slightly thick because when you grill them, they will shrink. So you definitely want them to be slightly thick when you slice them. Okay, first in will be some tomatoes. Then the zucchini. And then mushrooms. Now I'm just going to toss it through with our dressing, make sure that it's completely coated. Okay, so my grill pan is heated up completely and now I'm just going to start placing first the zucchini. Let's do this one vegetable at a time. You want to hear that sizzle. Now I'm going to let this cook for about two minutes on one side and then flip it over and we'll see those beautiful grill marks then. It's been about two minutes so now I'm going to flip the sides over of the zucchini. Now I'm going to let it cook for about another two minutes on this side as well so we have nice grill marks on the other side too. So the zucchini is beautifully cooked. Look at those lovely char marks. So I'm just going to pull it out and let it rest here on this plate. The tomatoes are done grilling on the other side as well. So I'm just going to let them rest on this plate. Last but not the least, let's now grill the mushrooms. The mushrooms are also done grilling on both sides, so I'm just going to let them rest on this plate. Okay, so now I'm using a slightly crustier bread. This is a sourdough, but you can use any bread. I'm first going to just spread some butter, thin layer of butter, because I'm also going to layer on some pesto sauce. Pesto sauce already has plenty of olive oil and cheese in it. So if we add too much butter, the sandwich will become very greasy. If you want the recipe for this pesto sauce, you'll find a link in the description box below. Now let's start layering up our sandwiches. I'm first going to start with a layer of tomatoes, then the zucchini and then the mushrooms.
The next layer is for some greens. Now you can use anything that you have at home, lettuce, rocket leaves, anything works. I have some homegrown microgreens. These are mustard microgreens. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that. They're really packed with flavor. So just a little bit of that, not too much. Now for the next and final, my favorite layer of cheese, I have two kinds, I love cheese. So one is processed cheese, the other is a cowda, gouda, however you pronounce it. Who cares as long as we get to eat it. So let's sprinkle on as much or as little cheese as you want. That's it, just layer on the other side of the bread and we are absolutely ready to eat this. This is a super healthy recipe. Do try it at home. So stay tuned to Get Curried for loads more such recipes.